Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing an Instagram question and answer. So basically, you guys just ask me any question on Instagram and I'm just going to answer them in this video. Now, if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me at adonisha.adams because when I'm not posting here on YouTube, I'm frequently posting on Instagram in real time so you can get like the first of everything there. And you guys can definitely go like my pictures. I'm trying to hit my goal on Instagram so it'll be really nice for you guys to follow me. I feel like so many people follow me here on YouTube and like no one goes and follows me on Instagram and I use Instagram as much as I do with YouTube. If you ask me a question, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. The thing is, don't be scared to ask me anything. I literally answer almost like all the DMs that I get. I try to answer as best as I can if it's a, like a meaningful DM. If you just say hi to me, just tell me what you want your DM to be. So I'm going to be doing a juicy patty mukbang. So here they are and I forgot. I literally forgot that I have all these animals here and when they hear food or they see food, they're gonna start making noises. So let's hope the goat doesn't come and let's hope the cat doesn't come. They're gonna be all up in this video. So I literally got one of each. You guys know that Juicy Patties is my favorite place to eat my breakfast, lunch, and dinner and snack. <laughs> literally, they're all up in my vlogs. I just go to them religiously all the time. I've actually done a Juicy Party mukbang video on my channel like probably three, four years ago when I really didn't even do YouTube like that. I didn't really take it serious. And a few people watched it. I tried literally every single patty that they had, but today I only picked the patties that I know that I kind of like. And I wanted to get their banana bread because their banana bread there is so good. They didn't have any at the Spallings location. Now, let me tell you guys, I go to the Spallings location, and I'm not even over-exaggerating because I live here or anything. Literally, they are the my fave location that I like going to because the food just tastes so good. Like, they give you a lot of food, number one. I'm comparing it to, like, the Christiana Mandeville one, and I like the Spallings one. We better. If you guys ever come to Spalling's area, go to the Juicy Beef there. I would highly recommend. I like theirs and the Clarendon Park Juicy Patties, okay? You guys, let me know what your favorite patty place is in Jamaica because they have a few. So I want you guys to let me know down below. <laughs> let me tell you guys what I got. So I got beef. I got meatloaf, but the beef meatloaf. I had the vegetable meatloaf before, which is just like... I think they put like kalaloo in it or something. And it tastes really bad to me. But if you're like a vegetarian, you would love that one. So this is how it looks. And then I got... Mega. So Mega is basically the sandwich version of, of a patty now. And then this one is the cheese. Oh, this is the chicken and this one is the cheese. So we're going to eat all this while I answer your guys' questions in this video. I'm so excited because I love all these. Do you guys, if you have been an OG fan of Juicy Beef, Juicy Patty, you guys let me know or give this video a thumbs up if you remember when your patties used to be less than $100. Can you believe? Times have changed and we still support them no matter what. So where should I start off with? I think I'm going to do the Mega because, okay, let me tell you guys about the Mega. If you haven't had it before, Mega basically is like when they have tomato, lettuce, a little bit of cheese, and I think it's beef. So, mm. sometimes I take off the crust because it just gets into the way of me getting to the juicy part. Oh, the goat came. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be eating off my food. Man, look at these animals have some supersonic smell. They can smell you from like 20 miles away. I'm gonna tie this goat and come back. Can I help you? Let me know how you guys like your patty. Do you like it like super hot where like when you bite into it, it's burning your mouth and some of it, you have to spit out some of it? Or you just have to like play with it in your mouth before it cools down before you can swallow it. Or do you like to like medium temperature? Mm. Okay, let's go into the first question. Would you rock out a hair wrap? And I mean a full on hair wrap. Wait, what's a hair wrap? I don't know what a head wrap is. If you're talking about a bonnet, no. But if she means a head wrap, it depends. It has to be done in a stylish, very nice way. And then I will wear it out. Hair wrap. No, I think the hair wraps are the ones that you see people who perm their hair. They have like that that thick band that just goes around and like you can like tear it apart. Like you can just like Velcro it back together. I think that's what you're talking about. But if it is not hell to the no. Mm -mm. That's it for hmm. any chicken. The chicken one, I think they make it with curry. And they always have like the little dots on it. Okay. I think it's her. Okay, next one. Someone's like, can we collaborate? I love your channel. A lot of people ask me to collaborate. There's some things they'll say about collaboration. 
the first thing when it comes to collaboration i'll only collaborate with people who have been doing youtube for like i would say like a year at the minimum the longer you've been doing youtube the more likely i feel like i just don't want to waste my time doing a video with someone who just started youtube and they just want to quick following a quick gain and then they stop using youtube a few months later no i feel like in life you should always work for things and don't expect handouts and like that's actually that's just a smarter way of going about business and about growing your channel it's always collaborating with people bigger because you're real faster that way however trust me it feels better when you work without collaborations and you say wow i got all these subscribers as well from me just constantly trying doing what i like so whoever you see me collaborate because like number one i like i vibe with their personality and they're actually serious about youtube i don't think you can finish all this let me do the beef when you guys go to buy pati it doesn't matter which place you guys go to let me know down below in the comment section what your go-to pati is mine is always beef it used to be mega like i used to buy mega all the time next question someone said how can i Someone said, how can I order stuff online from the USA? And I'm assuming you're from Jamaica. If you are, I have a whole entire video on shipping for beginners from Jamaica and how you can get stuff shipped down here. So I'm going to link that video for you so you can watch it. Okay, it's on my channel. Someone said, want to come hang with me in Mobay? Thanks for the invite. That's so nice. Someone said, Top three countries you would like to visit next. Okay. Italy. I feel like Italy. I would vibe there. Italy, Greece, and then... I want to say UK. The only reason why I don't want to go to the UK, I just feel like the flight is just so long. Mainly I want to go to London. But... Oh, I just feel like I don't know if I can handle the flight. Let me know how you guys deal with these long flights. But those are the main ones. I really want to go to London to see how it is. I follow a lot of the London YouTubers. And they're cool. Okay, someone asked, where would you be living if it's not... I don't know if I want cheese. And I don't feel like vomiting right now. Someone asked, where would you be living Where would you be living if it's not Jamaica? And it would be Canada. Now, if I lived in Canada, because I just feel like it's really depressing and I want to live somewhere else for just like a year or something, I would go to LA just to like further my YouTube career. And I would only stay there for a year. And that's it, because I would never want to live in America. I just feel like Canada has a lot of benefits and I would want to leave Canada for that. And then I would go to like Atlanta for a year. I might even still do it even though I um, I decide I want to permanently live in Jamaica and then travel the rest of the world. That's a great question. That's a great question. Okay, so next one. Someone said, why are you so inspirational? Shut up. Listen, I'm just sh showcasing my life, my real life. I don't know what I'm inspirational about if you're talking about that. This is how the loaves look, the meat loaf. So it has a beef in it and it's like with a cocoa bread listen i can't eat my panties i cannot eat my panties with cocoa bread because it's just too big for my mouth and i can't handle it i don't know what i'm inspirational about but that's actually really nice thank you i would never think i would be able to inspire people i always watch like bigger youtubers and i read their comments and stuff and people are like you inspired me to do this and that and i was like wow that's so nice i never thought i could inspire people listen reach for the stars in this life, you control your destiny, even though God really does, but... Okay, my, someone said, what were my impressions on high school? High school was fine. I did sports mainly. And it was a lot of exploring in those four years. I learned a lot. I, I did a lot, actually, as well. I have a full cool video on, on high school and stuff, like high school tips. Advice on my channel if any of you guys want to watch those. Yeah, high school was fine. The only thing that I miss about high school is... Um, always having friends constantly around you and the easy access to friends, but I'm experiencing things and always trying out new things with like my appearance, my hair, and everything like that. But other than that, I don't miss school at all. I think someone else said, What is your favorite thing about living in Jamaica? Love your videos, by the way. Thank you so much. My favorite thing is just everything. Is that what it's called? My past life. I feel like I was like actually born and raised in Jamaica. Because like everything about Jamaica is just I re resonate with and I just love and I feel like I'm at peace and I'm at home. And I don't feel like that in Canada, which is really weird. Jamaica helps with my mental health a lot. Because they have like dancehall and reggae music playing all the time. And it's just my vibe. The parties here are so much more better. I don't know if it's because of the sound systems that they have. And the huge speaker boxes them that make music sound so authentic. The people down here are just so unapologetic about being themselves. And they're just so... They don't business about what people think about them. So that what really makes the place so nice. And everything makes me feel good. 
someone was like, how have I been? I've been okay. That's it. I've just been okay. Someone's a good place for Brazilian wax and Kingston. Girl, I don't live in King. Oh, you know what? I actually would recommend you this place. I'll link them in the description so you guys can go and book with her. Um, she's young. She's like, what, 23, 24, and she has her own business. She's very professional. She has her own place. Like, But I go to a place in my room. Countries that Jamaican residents can visit without a visa. Oh my gosh, there's a whole picture of like places that Jamaicans can visit without a visa. And I'm going to, if I can find the picture, I'm going to put it on the screen here so you guys can see. But someone was telling me that some of the lists were wrong. You need a visa for some of these places, but I don't know. So I can't really answer that. But is it possible to live in Jamaica in a nice area with one AC? With one AC out of a thousand dollars a month. I don't know what that means. If you're saying if you can live on a thousand dollars a month in a nice area, I mean a lot of the areas them are nice, but um, you can live off a thousand dollars a month if you don't go out a lot and you do not like go to events and stuff like that, or you don't go to like a lot, of, a lot of like high price tourist areas. But that's I don't understand this question. So that's do you have a boyfriend? No. Someone's like, can you shout my YouTube page out? How about? you be consistent and you work hard and then you're going to see a growth in your youtube page trust me baby when i tell you that i remember i used to have like a thousand followers and look at where i'm at now do you have a have your eye someone's like do you have your eye on anyone right now no <laughs> someone said no question i love to do your nails one day come do my nails i don't know where you're located but do them they need to be done i'm always willing to try new nail tech even though I go to some bad nail tech in Mandeville, and I'm gonna link her. Blitzy nails. Oh my gosh, she's so good. Um, and I go to diggings, of course, if I'm doing my nails and spellings. Someone's like, what's the best first video for you two? Um, don't do a vlog or anything like that. That's what I can tell you guys. You can do um, something that's very popular and trending. Whatever topic you wanna talk about, look for whatever is trending in that topic and you'll get views or you can do tags tags are always served so this is the patty that the cat bit out of but this good thing is a cheese patty because i don't feel like eating this i know a lot of people love the cheese i'm always here to help you guys with youtube questions and stuff because everyone can grow and everyone can do really well on youtube it's for everybody where do you see yourself if you had stayed in canada oh my gosh let me tell you guys if i stayed in canada i would be doing something in criminal justice criminology i may might be working in the headquarters of either the toronto police or the Durham Regional Police. Most likely I'm going to stay in Durham, so I'd do something within Durham, but I would be doing something within the criminal ju criminal justice um, space. Someone's like, do you miss Canada? No, I don't. I literally don't. I love it down here. Ah! That's why I said. I'm going to live down here and then travel the rest of the world. I like it. The only thing I miss is McDonald's and fast shipping. Like, if someone ships something to me, I can just get it immediately. And especially doing YouTube when you have to work with brands. Because I love online shopping. Fast food, like deliveries and stuff, getting stuff food delivered to your house and just going to fast food and having things so convenient. In like Jamaica, you have to go to like the nearest main town, which is annoying. I always have to drive to Spalding to go do something or Mandeville to do something. And it's really frustrating. So if Jamaica is more built up in the way that no matter where you are, no matter what community you're in, there's like like big stores and stuff near you. Someone's like, would you ever live in Kingston half time? No. I don't know what half time is, like six months out of the year. I don't think so. I really, 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 really like country for endless amount of reasons I share in my country versus Kingston video. But I would spend like six months there. But I can see myself coming down to country a lot, so it's just I'm getting pulled back and forth all the time. <laughs> Someone's like, when are you moving into your apartments? Okay, I'm going to be soon. There's a main reason why it's taking so long. And once I do the apartment tour, you guys are gonna see understand why, because I'm gonna explain it in that video. Just know that Jamaica's slow. Someone said your relationship status, I'm single. <laughs> Someone needs to find me a husband. What's your number one? Thank you for asking all these questions. What's your number one favorite thing about Jamaica? I already answered that. Honestly, every country will have like music and food and everything. It's the people that make Jamaica what it is. It's the people, the unapologetic Jamaican people that make Jamaica how it is. So someone said, who does your eyebrows, nails, hair, waxing, makeup, and all around care in Jamaica? I have a self-care video on my channel. My maintenance routine video. I have two of them on my channel. I have one that I do at home and then I have one that I go on the road and do. So you can watch that video. I'm going to link it and you guys can see everyone. I don't know if I showed Kelsey in my video. She does my makeup sometimes. She's located in spelling. She's really good. She's clean. She smells good. <laughs> um, but she's really professional. I'm going to link her. Royal Faces by Chelsea, if anyone's interested. I don't know if I showed her in any of my videos, but everyone that I showed, the girl who does my hair and stuff, Macy, Wake Lash Studio, she's really good too, and her first 
Listen, I only recommend people with great customer service because I know down here people are rude and rank. Someone said, how to start the process of building a home in Jamaica. Guys, I'm going to actually start building a house soon. So I'm going to show you guys the process and I'm also going to share with you guys the pitfalls of that type of stuff because I hear people be getting scammed out here and it does happen. I see it all the time. Okay, how do you find good housing in Jamaica? Listen, I I'm going to share talk about this more when I'm doing my apartment tour i would not recommend people to rent down here because it's just the hardest thing ever i would recommend everyone to go down here but if you can't which i understand um renting is a little bit difficult so i have a video on like showing my, my process of me finding the place that i'm actually going to move into in that video i show you guys the whole entire process how people check to you like some people like the whole process of what you're seeing and everything like that so watch that video so i was like would you ever move back to canada no i don't think so I do not think so. I don't think so. Okay, someone said advice for someone thinking about moving back. How much to save? Where's the best place? So I have a video on like the relocation guide for Jamaica. So you guys want to go and watch that video. Someone said where do you see yourself in five years? Love your channel. Five years, I hope that I'm very successful with my YouTube channel. I'm married. I have children. Um, I want four children. And I hope my business that I'm going to do in Jamaica is very successful and well known. So you guys have to stay tuned to that because I'm going to be announcing that probably soon. Like, as you guys can see, it's getting darker now. Someone said, what's your plan for the next year? My next, my plan for the next year is basically just improve with my branding and with my appearance. So I really want to hit a certain goal on YouTube and Instagram. I want to just always improve and then obviously financially I want to make even more money next year. So like, what keeps you motivated? My end goal is what keeps me motivated. Business. I'm so sorry about this chicken. That's what keeps me motivated because at, at the back of my mind I'm like this is what I want to do and the only way that I'm able to do is by working, 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 working. Smart. Not hard, smart, okay? So I said, what is your core value? My core value is being honest, being honest, being genuine, and just being a very nice and kind person. Like, someone said, favorite parish in Jamaica. I would say Manchester. I, I really like North Clarendon, like where I am, Spalling's area, but it's basically Manchester too because we're literally on the borderline. But I'd say like Manchester. Really love it. Really, really love it. And the reason why I like it is the cool temperatures. It's developed. Like if I don't want to live in Kingston, where it's like the city part, but like Manchester is really, really developed, so I don't mind it. I like it. Um, would you ever do a meet and greet? Maybe when I hit like 1 million subscribers. I don't think people would, I don't think people would come. And so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. It got so dark on me. And again, if you have any questions, leave them down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.